Closed captioning provided by Montana Telecommunications Access Program. Welcome to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. <laughs> Brought to you by the Brad Schmidt Agency, Collision Pro, First Community Bank, First Interstate Bank, Montana Motorsports and Marine, the Montana Tobacco Quit Line, 1-800-QUIT-NOW, Opportunity Bank, Select Realty, and your local Ford store. And now, from the Quarry Bar and Grill at the Holiday Inn, downtown Helena, here's your host, Jarek Walcott. Welcome to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Jarek Wolcott. Today we are joined by head women's basketball coach, Rochelle Sayers. We are also joined by men's basketball coach, Carson Cunningham, and women's basketball senior, Kaylee Junkermeyer. Stay tuned, Saints fans. This is the Saints Wrap-Up Show. I've always been pretty good from long distance, even while I was at Carroll. But some Montanans have trouble hearing on the phone from long distance or just across town. Do you know someone who asks you to repeat your words? or to speak up or quit using the phone because it's a hassle. The good folks at Montana Telecommunications Access Program can help with amplified phones, caption phones, tech phones, loud ringers, and more. And to most Montana, this equipment is free. Call us or visit us online at the Montana Telecommunications Access Program. We all want to protect what's important to us, but sometimes it's difficult to take that first step. I'll hold your hand and lead you through those first precious steps. The rest is easy. Before you know it, you'll be up and running. Time doesn't stand still. Take those steps to protect your world. Call or stop by the Brad Schmidt Agency today. Welcome to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. I'm joined now by head coach Rochelle Sayers of the women's basketball team. We're going to take a look at the highlights uh, and, and coach is going to give us a little input on the action. Coach, a long road trip to get down to this game, but a very important game. Absolutely, and, and I thought our kids were really, really ready. There's Billy Watson making a great play with Cassie Hashley. Um, Katie Esty was, was just phenomenal for us in the first half, knocking down that three. And then Bailey Watson, again, just a great read out of our motion, slipped to the hoop. Uh, Katie get trapped on the, on the pick and roll there. Going right back to her and then making a great feed into Cassie Hashley, who just made an awesome move there. Here we see Katie hitting another deep three at the end of the shot clock, and, and she just really got us going in that first half, four or five from the three. Again, just fi just finding her. They were trying to spy off her a little bit and double with her player into the post, but you know it, it's not very easy when you when you go out and as Coach Turk I would say three six nine, and uh, she went actually three six nine twelve in that first half. And then uh, our stable uh, Kaylee Junkmeyer hitting the three there, and Jordan Johnson almost getting herself a three on that on that kick out. And then Kaylee finally found her rhythm a little bit, a little jumper in the fast break, which was nice. Give us a little cushion there in the first half. And, and then Jordy again driving and just making a nice uh, reverse play out of that. And then Cassie Ashley, she was just too much for them to handle in the paint. I mean, she just did a phenomenal job. It's tough to guard her one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, halftime, 30-20 lead, so. And then Bailey Watson, I'll tell you, the first half it was all about Katie Esty. The second half it was all about Bailey Watson and, and Cassie Hashley just doing their job in the paint. Cassie, another great move there. I mean, she just got it going. And, and teams are really trying to force her to her left, and she's made a couple good left-hand moves there and then uh, just continues to be relentless on the board. She and Bailey finishing off that play. Ba uh, Cassie fouled out, but Bailey's really stepped up there in the second half. Oh, absolutely, and, and Bailey Snow with a great play when, when Westminster was making a run on us uh, six with about four minutes to go, which was a nice steal there defensively. And that was just a huge bucket by, by Bailey Watson, kind of making uh, something out of nothing there. Uh, now we get into a Western after that 55-50 uh, win at Westminster. Well, it was it was hard fought, and and they made a they pretty much decided that we were going to have to beat them from the perimeter, and and after that long road trip, it was tough to get some threes to fall. Kaylee gets one there. Uh, obviously, she has 25 to lead us, and, and just had a great game. And she was really the only one that looked like she had some legs to hit those perimeter shots. Uh, great find there on the fast break to Cassie, 
Um, again, double and triple in our post. Nice kick out to Michaela Osborne for three. Um, and then Bailey uh, passed our freshman, just made a nice play with Allison Sullivan on a little slip play there. Um, again, double in the post. Jordy finds uh, Cassie under the hoop, which was a great pass and play for those two. And then Bailey Snelling just kind of being Bailey Snelling there, finishing the uh, three-point play. That was a nice setup by Katie to, to create some space for Kaylee to get an open three. And again, another double team in the paint. Cassie makes a great play out to Bailey Snelling. And we finally, you know, had a little bit of cushion. But, uh, and that was just a sweet spin underneath for an and one down there for Cassie. Which is a great play by her, coming from the weak side. You know, it came down to free throws, and we were able to get the ball into Bailey Snelly and Kaylee Junkemeyer's hands, and those are the kids we want to have the ball in the end of the game. And they knocked down the free throws, and, and it wasn't easy, but it's a win, and 2-0 to start conference on the road is a great feeling. Yeah, especially after that long road trip. Welcome back, Saints fans. Coach, uh, we just got a chance to look at the highlights, but um, tell me about that trip. Uh, it was a... Uh, it's been a long time since both teams had won at Westminster, um, and it's been. I'm mean, listening to Coach Turcott. He, he says he never, he doesn't remember a, a time when both teams won at Westminster. Um, it's been, it's a great game for you guys, especially against a top five team. Well, you know, we've never won there since I've been here, and and we played, you know, three times down there in the regular season. We played two times down there in the playoffs, so we're 0 five since I've been here. Um, but since since I've been here, they're they're 43 and two in conference games, and they hadn't lost at home. And so now they're 43 and three in conference games over the last four years, and two of the three losses are to Carroll. Um, so obviously, it was an amazing win. It was so fun. I, I just felt like the kids were so ready. I mean, they had unbelievable focus, um, and and they they went in there to do a job. And and I felt so confident that morning. And, and into the into the day, I, I just there was something about the the way the group prepared all week and, and how confident they were that I just had a really good feeling about that game. Katie Essie had a huge first half. Really, um, um, was was the story of the first half there? Well, we knew they were going to try something defensively, and and we thought they might try to spy off our point guards or off our our four players and and try to double in the paint. Um, and they decided to spy off of Katie and try to double and cause caused some turnovers and some havoc in the paint, get the ball out of Cass's hands, and, and it kind of backfired on him because Katie, Katie stepped up and hit huge shot, shots. And then the second half, obviously Katie didn't, didn't score again, but you noticed our post really went to work, and, and basically they were able to score because they were one-on-one -on -one in the paint the whole time. Uh, you, you go off of that uh, emotional win, and sometimes it's hard to rebound, and combine that with another road trip, you know, another long road trip back up into Montana. Uh, how how were you guys able to really get over the hump there? Well, I never give them an out, and and we we tried to stay as focused as we could. We tried to minimize the, you know, how hard the road trip is, and and I really tried to keep it instilled in them that we're fine. You know, we we got to. Um, we got to Idaho Falls after the game at 2 a.m. Uh, we got up the next morning and, and worked out at high school and, and walked through some things. Uh, traveled on up to Dillon, checked into the hotel, went over to, to Western and got some shots up. and got a little bit used to the floor and had dinner. We're, we're finally back in the hotel, settled in by 8 p.m. Uh, the night before the game. So it was a long haul. Um, but we felt like we, we got in what we needed to do. They were able to rest the day of the game. But you could tell we, we were definitely mentally and physically fatigued. Uh, Western came off a tough loss at home to Rocky, so obviously they were they were out to, to get a win on their home floor. And, and it's always been a battle with them, and I thought they did a great job executing their game plan, and I thought our kids did all they could to, to get out of there with a win. Uh, it doesn't get any easier. you got two ranked teams coming in this week. Well, you, you know, obviously uh, this conference is extremely talented this year, and, and bringing in MSU Northern at uh, 17th ranked, and then uh, Saturday followed up with 14th ranked LC, who just played each other on Saturday, and it was a two-point game. Uh, Northern won at home by two. So, um, you know, Northern, we're going to have our hands full. We can't even think about LC uh, right now. Uh, they've got a 6'5 player that, that was the national player of the week uh, last week. Um, you know, she had over 20 rebounds last night. I think she had 20 and 20 uh, last night. So just a, just a, a huge task for us to try to figure out what we're going to do with her. And, and then they've got shooters on the perimeter, so it's not like you can just lock into her and, and not worry about everybody else. So it'll be a fun game. I hope we have a great crowd. I hope we have a lot of fans that come out and support it because, I mean, two great home games for us.
All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Coach. Uh, congratulations on your weekend and, and good luck with this week. Thank you. We're going to take a look at the results from last week. Upgrade. It means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style, your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. In the 1950s, people thought cigarettes were harmless. Today, it's e-cigarettes. Vaping is highly addictive. Plus, there's diethylene glycol used in antifreeze. Lead, formaldehyde, acetone, carcinogens, and toxic chemicals in the vapor. E-cigarettes are not regulated. Corporate tobacco hasn't changed their game, just their technology. If you want to quit, call the quit line for free help and FDA-approved medications. Not 30 days away, not 20 days away. The time to save is now. During the final days of the Dream Big Sales event at your local Ford store, make no payments till March on some of the most stylish, high-tech, and efficient rides around. So don't come up empty. You want a deal that'll make your holiday? Get to your local Ford store now and see why nothing, not a zilch, I'm talking Zippo, is better this holiday season. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on Fusion or Escape, plus no payments till March. Only at your local Ford store. Coach, long road trip, but he, an exciting game to start it off. Westminster picked first in the league, Carroll picked last. Well, I was, I was really happy for the guys. They've worked really hard. Uh, this was a hard fought game. And we shot really well from the field. So we had five more shots in our game versus Montana Western, but we made seven fewer. Uh, and there's an example of a lot of the types of shots we got, which were in the paint. And that was huge. We outscored Westminster 48 to 18 in the paint. And there's another drive and pull up from senior Nick Williams, previous play by uh, Jay Collifield. So if we can shoot, you know, a high percentage and take good shots, you know, obviously that's going to help you a ton. Uh, and Nick Williams had a great uh, game, and again in his home city, there's a nice push out on the break with a lay-in by Zane. And Zane had some really big shots late in this game. Uh, and there's John Polsford. He's always getting rebounds. He's just a really good rebounder, even though he's not even that big. Um, that was just an ill-advised pass, and then we don't get back on defense. And that's just a great recovery by Jake. But, you know, our, our freshmen need to mature defensively. We just have some bad habits that we need to break. You were down 15, um, but then you cut it to 10 at the half and really kind of gained some momentum back. Yeah, that was huge. Guys off the bench gave us really big minutes. Nick Williams and John Pulsifer and Alex Santos uh, made some really good plays out of the pick and roll. There we are getting a post feed and then a dribble drive. And, uh, you know, we just were really attacked the rim more effectively in the second half and then played more stout defense. So, you know, we're cutting it, to chipping away, chipping away at, was, at what was previously a pretty big lead for them. And I got, Oliver Carr played a whale of a game. He's under the weather, he's he got the flu, and he battled through it. And uh, gosh, he gave us some uh, great action, particularly in the second half. And you just see a lot of shots near the rim, a lot of people attacking the rim. And that was a huge uh, part of this game for us. Good, great hustle plays here. Great hustle plays. Splitting the pick and roll, and then another offensive rebound. Just big, big action on the offensive glass for us late. Again, right at the rim, getting the heart of the lane. Nifty move by Zach Taylor. 
and this was a really big shot for us to put us up five. But then they tied it, and then Zach Taylor just <laughs> he just hit a really, really, really big shot uh, to win the game, and that was exciting. I'm really happy for him and, and our guys. Uh, it was a hard-fought affair, and uh, really, really impressive to come out of there with a, with a victory and, and to have both teams win, men and women. Is, it's just awesome, and it's awfully rare. Uh, after that big win, dramatic win over Westminster, we go. You get back on the road, get to to Western. Yep. Well, we just didn't play good enough defense in this game. It's the bottom line. You know, we had some nice uh, looks at the basket, and we tried to get it down low. So we did have a little success, but. Uh, in addition to poor defense, we didn't make our free throws very well. So, uh, you know, there was some good execution, some good fighting for loose balls like you see here. Um, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't consistently enough on the defensive end. It was a nice pump fake by freshman Laurel Johnson. And, uh, you know, we looked in the post, and I thought we tried to get it into the paint pretty well. You know, that's that's a sweet spot get in the middle of the lane there for a jumper and uh, but we just had a little trouble in transition defense as you can see here and those types of plays really hurt us it went, went under a lot of ball screens so Zach Taylor was able to uh, knock down some shots but here's another turnover and they're off, off and running and that's just an example of a defense that needs to improve dramatically. Was that, did that have something to do with your legs? I mean, after a long trip and a dramatic game in Westminster? Well, there's a great pass out of a double by Oliver Carr. We're working on that. And there they're going under his screen again. Um, no, I don't think it's legs. I just think it's attention to detail and focus and uh, the right mindset. You know, you can't relax. You can't have a, a, <clears throat> a lull versus a team that has won now 12 games in a row. You just, you just can't afford that, really. And we had just too many lapses. But uh, it was a good high-low action. You know, we just going to have to continue to try to execute better. And it's frustrating because we did do some nice things. Another shot in the middle of the lane. We, we had more field goal attempts, more free throw attempts, less turnovers, and more steals and we lost the game. So, but if you only make 23 out of 62 shots and you don't play better defense, you let them shoot 45% from the field, then, then you can lose. There's Nick Williams, the senior. It uh, just wasn't enough defensively and didn't, didn't make our free throws. And so it was a frustrating game for us. Welcome back, Saints fans. Coach, we uh, tough road trip, uh, but you, you ended up getting the split. Uh, big game, big win at West uh, Westminster. Yep, I mean, it was really nice to get a W in Salt Lake City. It's been a long time since that's happened. Uh, and for both teams to win, men and women, is really just cool. Uh, a dramatic ending, you know. You see a lot of game winners on Sports Center, like on the highlights, but they really don't happen that often. So to have one where you have a, a player hit a shot, but basically literally at the buzzer uh, to win a game, is just really uh, emotionally uplifting and, and exciting. Uh, so we were thrilled with that game, uh, but we're frustrated by. Uh, our defensive effort and just uh, our inability to make a shot uh, in our next game versus Montana Western. So it's kind of a split decision on our first road trip. And now we got to try to win uh, a couple games at home and uh, try to stay stay in reach of the of the leaders in the standings for the frontier. How important is it to take care of home court um, in, in the Frontier Conference? 
I mean, it's huge. It's really hard to win uh, at, at the other team's gyms. I mean, statistically, when you look at it historically, it's just, just really difficult. So you gotta, you gotta do everything in your power to maintain uh, your home court uh, victories, uh, and and then fight like mad to get some road wins. So it's huge, uh, but uh, you know we've had upsets already on the road uh, and close games. I mean, you look at the Frontier games, and so many games are tight. So whether you're home or away, you gotta, you just gotta be locked in and. That's what we need to spend the next several days on, is making sure that we have the right defensive focus and going from there. So you've got Northern coming in on Thursday, uh, then Saturday is uh, UGF, but Friday there's another special event. Yeah, we have a January 16th is our 100th anniversary dinner for men's basketball, which is really exciting. Uh, former governor, former Carroll basketball player, Mark Roscoe is our guest speaker. Uh, Coach Turcott will speak. We're going to unveil a video highlighting uh, a century of hoops. Uh, it's going to be live music. Uh, it'll be an exciting night uh, and a, a, a ton of former players. And we're really thrilled. Uh, and I, I hope folks can join us. There's about 48 hours or so where you can still register online. So you just got to go to our website and and sign up and support the men's basketball program and enjoy a wonderful event. I think it's going to be really cool. I mean, it's just such a great tradition, uh, Carroll basketball, Carroll athletics, and it's just uh, an opportunity to celebrate that uh, amongst uh, some really neat folks. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Let's take a look at uh, the upcoming Carroll athletic events. Welcome back to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. I'm now joined by Kaylee Junkermeyer from the women's basketball team. Kaylee, you, five games in a row you guys have won. Um, you guys, quite a streak going on. What's kind of developed, how have you guys got into that streak? Um, really, we're just all working together and um, we're putting out the points that we need to and we're working really hard and our rebounding's coming together and our offense is really working really well. So. Uh, so you guys worked a lot on that offense early on um, in the season, and, and you kind of ignored defense, but it seems like defense has really been really well. Mm -hmm. I think uh, learning that offense has actually helped us on defense. Um, that offense, Westminster runs, and a lot of teams run, and so it's helped us play against Westminster and other teams, and um, so I think that kind of helped uh, us be better at defense. What, what do you think uh, so far as uh, as your team? You got a lot of young young girls on the team. How, how have you kind of melded as a team? Um, honestly, the, those freshmen they seem like they're seniors. They really have stepped up to the plate, and they um, they're following us, and they know what to expect, and they know what to do, and we trust them all. And I think everyone has trust in each other. So you had you had some issues earlier this season with injuries. Your shoulder wasn't uh, all that well, and you weren't even sure if you were going to continue to play this year. But in the end, you you, you got it figured out, and you you've had a really good streak your last few games. Yeah, um, it definitely was a setback at the beginning, but um, just got to pull through. I mean, when I didn't get that red shirt, I had to push through and make it the senior the senior that I wanted. So. I guess you, you got to take control of it when you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, can you talk, talk, tell me about this last road trip. It, it's a long trip, uh, you know, nine hours on a bus to, to just to get to the first game, mm -hmm. and then you got to turn around right after that game, and come back up to to Dillon. Um, mm -hmm. How does that take the toll on on your mental state getting ready for those games? Well, I mean, the first game, we were ready to go for Westminster. Um, we were practicing all week. We were ready to go. We were mentally and physically prepared for that game. Um, also, well, after we won that game and then we were preparing for Western, we knew it was going to be a tough game because they always come out. Um, last year, 
we were up 20 and they came all the way back and beat us. So we knew that was going to be a tough game. So I think we were all mentally and physically prepared for both. Um, maybe not as physically prepared for the Western just because we were so ex exhausted from uh, Westminster. But I mean, mentally, I think we were all there and ready to go. So real quick, we just got a, a few seconds, but how satisfying is it to, to get that win at Westminster in your senior season? It feels awesome. Um, that was the first win that I've ever had there, and um, def and I don't really want to go back there. So <laughs> <laughs> hopefully we'll just stay at Carroll. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you getting up early on your Sunday morning after a, a long road trip. But uh, we're, let's take a look at the Student Athlete of the Week and the Plays of the Week. Kaylee Junkermeyer scored 32 points over two games, including 25 against Montana Western, to lead the Saints to a road sweep over Westminster and Montana Western. On the men's side, Zach Taylor averaged 17 points a game and scored a game winner at Westminster to give the Saints the first road sweep of the Griffins in recent memory. That is why Kaylee Junkermeyer and Zach Taylor are your Players of the Week. The play of the week is Zach Taylor's game winner at Westminster. Tied up in the closing seconds, da Taylor drove and nailed this 15-footer at the buzzer to give the Saints the win. There's always something going on at the Quarry Barn Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the walking mall. Before you start your search, for the largest investment in your life. First Community Bank is here. Pre-qualification is easy. In most cases, it's the same day. For first time home buyers and new construction. Or your home away from home. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Holiday Inn Conference Center downtown. Helena's only hotel on the historic walking mall. We offer everything you expect. Comfortable rooms, a large pool, and an up-to-date conference center. Plus, we're just steps away from shopping and dining. And we feature the Quarry Bar and Grill, Helena's ultimate sports bar. Contact the Holiday Inn today at 406-443-2200. Hi, I'm Carly, front office manager here at the Holiday Inn downtown Helena. Come visit us for sleeping rooms and meeting rooms. There are heroes all around us. Firefighters, emergency medical technicians, military and veterans, law enforcement, teachers, and healthcare workers. Select Realty thinks you deserve a break when buying, selling, or refinancing a home. We are the exclusive Homes for Heroes partner in the Helena area. We can provide extraordinary savings of up to $2,000. Call us or sign up today. Homes for Heroes can make a difference. Choices, choices, choices. Select Realty. There's always something going on at the Quarry Bar and Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the walking mall. Thanks for joining us for today's show. A big thank you to head women's basketball coach Rochelle Sayers, men's basketball coach Carson Cunningham, and Caitlin Junkemeyer from the women's basketball team. And remember, the Saints take on MSU Northern Thursday and Great Falls Saturday. 